Want to play CS2 like the pros with smoother gameplay and no stutters? In this video, I'm showing you the exact FPS boost tricks that pro players use in 2025 to fix lag, remove FPS drops, and get that buttery smooth experience. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize windows for best performance for Counter-Strike 2. First, go to the Windows search bar and type, Adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Then click to open the Performance Options window. When the window opens, choose the option called Adjust for Best Performance. This will turn off all the visual effects that are not needed, which usually slow down your computer. This step makes sure that your computer uses more power to run Counter-Strike 2, CS2, better. To keep your screen clear and easy to read, make sure to check the boxes for smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. This way your text stays sharp and your image previews stay visible. Then click Apply to save what you changed. Next, click the Advanced tab in the same window. You will see a section called Processor Scheduling. Select the option that says Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This tells Windows to give more power to the apps you are using, like CS2, instead of background apps. Then click OK to confirm. These settings will help your Windows system focus more on gaming and reduce anything that slows it down while playing CS2. Step 2. Counter-Strike 2. Priority Registry Tweaks for Maximum Performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now open the folder called Counter-Strike 2 Priority. Inside this folder you will see registry files that change how your CPU handles the game. If your PC is low-end or not very powerful, choose the file called Normal Priority. If your PC is average or mid-range, use the medium priority file. If you have a high-end or strong gaming PC, use the high priority file. Using the right file helps your CPU work better, based on how powerful your system is. This change helps the game run smoother and more stable by giving it the right amount of CPU priority. Step 3. Boost Windows Performance with Chris Titus Tech. Utility for Counter-Strike 2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will make your PC even faster by using a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. This tool turns off background apps and services that slow down your computer. First, open your FPS Boost Pack and look for the text file that comes with it. Open this file and copy all the code written inside. Then open the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. This allows PowerShell to make changes to your computer. Paste the code you copied into PowerShell, then press Enter. This will launch the Chris Titus Tech Utility Tool. When it opens, click on the Tweaks tab. You will see different preset options made to improve your system. The minimal preset is best for most users. It removes unneeded features but keeps all important ones. The standard preset removes even more unnecessary stuff and boosts performance more. The tool will automatically create a system restore point before doing anything, so you can undo all the changes later if you need to. After picking either minimal or standard, click the button called Run Tweaks. Once it's done, close the tool. This will stop background services you don't need, fix FPS drops, reduce lag, and improve your frame rate in games like CS2. Step 4. Improve CPU performance with Throttle Stop for Counter-Strike 2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To boost your CPU's performance even more, use a tool called Throttle Stop. This tool helps unlock more power from your CPU so your games run better. Go to the Tools folder, then open the Throttle Stop folder. Double-click throttlestop.exe to open the app. When it opens, you will see different power plans like Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, and Battery Mode. For the best gaming experience, choose the Game Power Plan and check the box that says High Performance. Out of all the options, High Performance gives you the best results for gaming. In the areas called Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift settings, do not change anything. Just click Disable Turbo to make performance more stable. After that, click Turn On and then click Save. Make sure to keep Throttle Stop open and running in the background while you play CS2. This will keep your CPU running at its full potential during gaming. Want to boost your CS2 inventory without spending a fortune? Use my promo link to join Skins VIP and get 4 free cases plus up to 30% bonus on your first deposit. Here's how the bonus works. Deposit $150, get 10% bonus deposit $51, $500, get 20% bonus deposit $501, $10,000, get 30% bonus. Don't forget to check in daily. You can get free mystery gifts just for logging in. Got extra skins? Sell them in the market to earn with draw coins. Then buy any skin you want using those coins. We also have unboxing, which includes everything from low-priced boxes to high-tier ones. 
If you're not happy with the skin you get, you can upgrade it to a more expensive one, or sell it and choose your favorite skin instead. I'll also be hosting giveaways, so stay tuned for rules and don't miss out. More participants mean better prizes. Dive into open cases, try your luck at upgrades, and join intense battle modes. Step 5. Remove telemetry for better privacy and performance for Counter-Strike. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. 2. Windows has a feature called telemetry that collects data in the background, which can slow down your PC. Turning this off can boost your system's performance and protect your privacy. After you download it, open a tool called O&O Shut Up 10. Inside the tool, click on Apply Only Recommended Settings. This will turn off only the tracking features that are safe to remove. If the program asks to create a restore point, you can skip it since we already created one before. Please note, this step may turn off features like clipboard history or storage suggestions. If you notice any problems after applying the settings, just click on the Undo All Changes button in the program to go back to how things were before. Then check the box that says Do Not Show This Message Again and click OK. Now your system will run faster and be more private without background tracking slowing it down. Step 6. Reduce Keyboard Input Lag Using Filter Keys Setter for Counter-Strike You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. 2. In this step, we'll make your keyboard respond faster by using a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the program and you will see some settings. Change the settings to Ignore under to 0M is Repeat delay to 130M is Repeat rate to 10 miss. Now check the small box on the right side of the program to enable these changes. Then click OK to save everything. These changes will make your keyboard react faster and remove any delay when you type or play CS2. Step 7. Disable unnecessary startup apps for Counter-Strike 2. In the last step, we will stop unneeded apps from starting up when you turn on your PC. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC to open Task Manager. Then go to the tab called Startup. Here you will see a list of all programs that start automatically when your PC turns on. Look through the list and find the programs you don't need. Right-click each one you don't want, then click Disable. This will help your PC start faster and give more power to CS2 and other games. If this guide helped you, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more tips to boost performance. See you in the next video.